Hello everyone, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rob Dukan, but guess what? This is the breaking news. Eric Tenak has been sacked as manager for Manchester United. And uh, yeah, uh, the club actually has come out with, uh, with a comment here, with a message uh, telling the fans what has happened. I mean, this is not one of the best days in our history where we sack managers. I think even those of you who are Tenak out, you're definitely um, very... Um, uh, disappointed you will have to be disappointed because uh, if you think Manchester United problem is all based on one person then uh, I think maybe football is not for you but Eric Tenak has been sacked the message just came out less than a year ago I'm sorry I said a year ago more less than a minute ago uh, uh, an hour ago sorry I just had a message here. less than an hour ago that uh, Manchester United are sacking have sacked Eric Tenak uh, uh, from uh, his duties and that he will be temporarily replaced uh, by the uh, by his assistant Ruth Van Nistelrooy. Let me just read you guys, guys. Uh, uh, what the question? Let me just read you guys what uh, the Manchester United has uh, released here on the on their uh, social media. It is written here: Eric Tenag has been has left. Eric Tenag has left uh, his role as Manchester United. Men first team manager Eric Tenag was appointed in April 2022 and led the club for two domestic trophies, winning the Carabao Cup in 2003 and uh, also the FA Cup in 2004, which all of you know. We are grateful to Eric for everything he has done during his time uh, with us and wish him well for his future. Ruth Van Nistelrooy will uh, take charge of Manchester United in, as an inter interim coach um, supported by the current coaching team whilst a permanent uh, head coach is uh, recruited so um, that's the latest news here on Eric Ten Hag we have had a lot of um, also reaction here from Gary Neville and uh, also most of uh, uh, the, the, the outlets but you know look I want to make this point very clear Manchester United is more than just a football club I say we are the Giorgio Armani of, uh, of Italy we are uh, we are a universal brand. I mean, we, we most people make uh, that, uh, earn a living from talking about Manchester United, even though I don't, you know. Yeah, so, but anyway, uh, uh, so it, you will always get stories when it comes to United. Nothing will change in terms of the way the media approaches United because uh, obviously that's uh, that's a, a springboard of exposure for most people. Uh, in I mean, people who have a bigger platform than what we have here. So that's the fact that... Um, but the question is, is that a very fair decision? I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you, Tunde Joy. Back up your reasons. I want to hear from Van Hoys. Van Hoys, I, want to, I would love to know what the Dutch media is talking about this. Is it a solely Eric Ten Hag fault um, that United aren't doing well? Is it so stubborn, which I think technically I will be, uh, I will be a hypocrite to say he isn't because uh, being a manager for Manchester United, you have to... Uh, stand your ground on certain uh, aspects. So Eric Tenag uh, has definitely left the club, Manchester United. We wish him well. From the level, from the fan points, or from a fan point of view, I think most of you would love to see Eric Tenag get be successful wherever he goes, because you know I keep saying this all this while that uh, for those of you who are new in the footballing world, you definitely always think that you look at football as a fantasy. It is an easy game. It is managed really by people, played by people, obviously. But uh, in the modern game, because of the high nature of the modern game, you always have to have the right, you need to have the right structure with you. And uh, it is very unfortunate that, that on the year where Eric Ten Hag tried to have something behind him, it hasn't worked for him. On a personal level, is this a good thing? Is this the right decision? I want to tell you guys my opinion personally. I hate standing on the fence as a fan. I am loyal to Manchester United the Football Club, not to anybody or neither the media. I think the sacking is very rational. The club hasn't been doing well. We are, I think, 14 in the table. We are already in November, close, I mean, I mean two days, three days, in, in a week's time, we we're talking about November. So that's not progress. The most important thing for Manchester United and even the Premier League is how you go up the league. So that's why some Manchester United fans rightfully blame Arsenal for not winning anything for a while. But the reason why uh, Arsenal manager is still on top on his job is because they are still around the Premier League. Some of you forget that uh, at the end of the day, United football in general is, uh, is a game for us, the fans, but it's a business for those who invest the millions, which uh, technically you guys are also stakeholders. So I think in terms of the business point of view, it is it makes sense 
to, to pathway with every ten hag. That is an honest opinion. I was totally against, and if I were the owner, don't call me, call me a bad business guy. I won't sack him, because I think the the fundamental problem of Manchester United is they are setting players that need to leave the club. I said this on my five things we learned on the game yesterday that there's players like Bruno Fernandes who is not who will not change the way he plays even if your your famous manager comes to Manchester United Marcus Rashford they're set here I mean they are setting players which I just want to remind you guys if it was that easy to coach players to be what you want them to be then um, a good example would be Pep Guardiola coming to Manchester City spending 50 million for a left back you know back in the days spending all this crazy money and don't forget, don't tell me Manchester United has spent something similar. Yes, but we have what we call the United Tax, you know, the Manchester United Tax, where we spend, we must pay over the odds. I think, I think it's a 20% of a player's value. So um, it is very important for us as Manchester United fans to have a level head and become, I mean, react towards this thing in a very mature manner. So I personally think that Eric Tenak leaving could be a good thing. Good thing for what? Are we going to win the league? No. Are we going to win the league in the next two, three years? No. I mean, you remember Omar Berada said he was targeting 2028 to win the league. I still don't think so. The only way we win the league is for us to build a team of youth players who are working towards that. Something like the class of 92, that should be the goal that we build players that have a mission to play and win tournaments. Players who are used to each other and yes, in the modern game, it's difficult to do so because you have all these international games, players are, you know, hype, they're so hyped so early. I saw a picture on the Facebook group where you had this Nigerian international, young international OB who scored some goals in, with, the, with the reserve team in Manchester United. And now, in most of our African fan base, he is like the, key, the new big thing. But this is what kills and destroys players in the modern game. Players need to be patient and win their time I mean, the, the, what I'm trying to say is this growth has to be slow. It has to be slow and steady. It shouldn't be artificial. like every, And this is what killed uh, Jason Sancho. So uh, that, that's my honest opinion about him being sacked. Should he, would have, I mean, is it the right thing to be sacked for Eric Tenak? Yes, the results are not good. But is it all Eric Tenak's fault? No. Is United going to pr improve on the, um, the new manager? I can guarantee you guys. In a short term, yes. In the long term, Bruno will give the passes that he does. Marcus Rashford will complain. I mean, there are all these stories we see. The media will write something similar and we become a laughing stock. This is what I am worried about the long term future for Manchester United. Guys, I would have done this live, but we have a very slow internet here in, in uh, where we are located at the moment. So it's very difficult for me to do it live. But I've told you guys sometime, maybe by the end of the year, we'll be doing this live stream like every day. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's where I am with the with, with, with uh, Manchester United now. What what does the future lie for Manchester United Football Club? What are your expectations as a fan for Manchester United? Or do you think we are going to finish in Europe? Potentially we can, but uh, I still think the top four is uh, it's not well not impossible. But I think the top four four is is a is a big ask. Because you're talking to players, who same players who helped them, and who have helped many player managers being sacked, so it it will be difficult. It will be difficult. One of the things I would like to some of the one of the few things, uh, one of the many things, right, that I would like to uh, criticize Eric Tena was the way he did his management. There is something in Manchester United which I think most of the fans don't understand. Why do you buy a player for the whole summer? We are talking about Ogate buying a player and not even using him. I think Eric Tenak wanted the sack. He was tired. You might say, oh, he could. He would have resigned. Most of you, then you don't understand how football works. If Eric Tenak resigns, he loses all his uh, salary for his future, uh, the one year uh, that he has extension. So the only way for Eric Tenak to leave Manchester United is the club to, for them both sides to have a mutual understanding. He takes his maybe 15 million pounds and go home and, and, and get another job. And also, there are some NDAs also involved, which means Eric Tenak might have, I think, it, the, the standards for NDA when, when managers are sacked is at least ten, uh, one full year. So, which means Eric Tenak will 
have at least a year before he comes out clear on what happened within, I mean, between his time in Manchester United. We saw that with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We saw that with, with all the managers that have left since, since uh, Alex. So um, I, I just think there is no difference. Nothing has changed with Manchester United. The players are there. How do we move forward? Some of you are talking about Xavi coming as Manchester United manager. Xavi, we have to bring Spanish. So which means we will have to sell the Dutch players and start a whole project from zero. That's another four years, which in the next two, three years, we'll be talking about sacking. Marcus Rashford will be here. You know, Bruno Fernandes, I think he will be the big name that has to leave the club. He has done what he could do and go and make a, a career somewhere else. Um, it, it, these are tough times for United. They have to, they need to get it right, the Ineos group. If not, I just don't know what uh, uh, what is ahead for Manchester United. So, uh, so uh, uh, as I said, guys, it's not the best day for, for us, the fan, sacking the manager, people losing their job is not good. I don't think the problem here is the finance. These people are millionaires, they make a lot of money. But the problem is the way everything goes, that uh, this is a job in which it's a, res res a resort-based job where uh, always the managers are the culprit. But um, yeah, so uh, if you're joining in, I mean, uh, Eric Tenak has been sacked. He's no longer the manager of Manchester United. And... Uh, for those of you who are Ten Hag out, I think the name Ten Hag, well, I think the British press also will uh, a little bit uh, keep calm on Manchester United now. Who will be the next Manchester United manager? Drop your comments below. Who do you want to be the next manager of Manchester United? That's our question for the short video today. Anyway, guys, make sure you click the like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV and uh, smash a like very well on this channel for your patience on the whole season, the whole season which has gone through. Hope sure, hopefully to see you through um, in the coming days. We'll talk about, give this topic, but guess what? United are preparing for their next game. So uh, with that all said, guys, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.